Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide Jeff and today I am back in a place that I did last year um, for Obsidian. This is a uh, this is BLM land that I'm on. You can collect here. Um, you can't sell the stuff you get here. I have, a, I have a different place I go for that but I can't show that on camera. So I'm going to show you guys though where you can go and get your own stuff at. And whenever I say you can get your own stuff, there is like three different types, four different types of obsidian up here. There's a snowflake obsidian, which is really pretty. There's, of course, your normal black obsidian. And there's mahogany obsidian. And I just got out of my truck and I saw this beautiful piece of obsidian. Look at that red. That is amazing. Let's see if I can get to... There we go. Focus in better. That makes me happy. But as you see along the ground here, there's all sorts of obsidian. Um, I do recommend being real careful out here. If you come out, you might want to have a change of tires just in case. Because uh, this obsidian is very sharp. This is just one of the areas I go to. Um, I'll take you to another area, which is a little bit better. And I say better. Sorry, I just saw another piece of red obsidian. Um, the reason why I say it's better is because as you can see right here, I am right on the boundary line of a mine. So where it says danger, no trespassing, do that. Do not trespass, guys. Uh, come out here, though. Enjoy it. Find all the cool obsidian you can. Here's a nice piece. Look at that one. Well, that's pretty. That's some mahogany right there. But uh, yeah, definitely highly worth it. I'm going to start looking for obsidian, fill myself up a bucket with it. Oh, this is lots of snowflake over here. Look at all this snowflake obsidian. It's just everywhere. These are little pieces. I'll take you up here in a second to a place where we can get bigger obsidian. But uh, I'm going to collect some of this. And then uh, I'll show you the next place here in a second. Now, there is a reason why I do come down to this side, even though, you know, the mine's over there, so you, can't, you there's not really much to look at. It's because of this stuff right here. This is pumice stone. I put this into water, and it will float. I've only found it down here, and I just think it's really, really cool. I uh, found a piece last year. I think I may have given it away as a Christmas gift. I don't know. I can't find it anymore. But, anywho, that's enough talking. Let's, uh, Ooh, look at this big piece. Let's find some pretty rocks, guys. Alright, so there I am down there. I climbed up the little hill here. And uh, I'm looking for the really good red obsidian. Now, a little bit of uh, safety before you come out here. And uh, do as I say, not as I do. You should wear gloves. Definitely going to wear gloves at the next spot. The stuff is razor sharp. Uh, make sure you're wearing good shoes. Because the last thing you want to do is if you're wearing sandals, is get a piece of obsidian between your toes. And be a real good person. And don't bring your pooch out here. Not that a dog wouldn't love it out here, but man, you don't want them to get their little feet cut up. Especially in stuff like this. It is a little rough, or it can be. They uh, they still make uh, scalpels and stuff out of obsidian because it can be so sharp that uh, it works better than an actual metal scalpel, which I think is pretty darn cool. All right, I got me some red obsidian, a couple nice pieces of snowflake. Oh, that's a nice piece of red right there little red and black let's hop back in the truck I say as I walk over and pick up more let's hop back in the truck and uh, let's head over to the other spot we'll be further away from the mine and uh, there we can pick up a bunch more as I pick up more red okay I'll see you guys there all right, guys, here we are. Here is the second spot, the spot that I highly recommend coming to. Um, 
I'll map it out, which will be right here. All right, coming down south through Delta, through the town of Desiree, you're going to drive all the way until you see a sign that says Kenosha. I think it's 26, 36, something like that. You will turn left onto that road and you will follow it back. Um, I've marked the areas also that I went to, uh, one, two, and three in order. So it's kind of silly because, you know, three, I should have gone to it second, but hey, whatever, it was on my way out. And of course, you heard me doing the overspeak of, you know, how to get here from Delta and all that good jazz. But I'll show uh, a Google map, you know, getting up. Anyhow, you saw it, you saw it. But let's go down to the pit. This is all obsidian. Everything I'm stepping on, except for that, is obsidian. You've got mahogany, the black. Uh, there's snowflake in here mixed in. Be real careful down here. Like I said, this stuff is sharp. You hear that? You hear how it sounds like glass? It's because it is. Obsidian is volcanic glass. Now, most of this, of course, is broken up. You know, people have come down here to dig. Like this piece here, that, that's, that's almost knife sharp. But uh, I'm going to collect up some obsidian. I'm going to try to get a big piece out of here today. Not the little broken pieces. So I might go get my shovel and dig some of that out there and see if I can't pull out a pretty good piece. So I'll be right back. Well, guys, I got a pretty decent sized piece out. Palm size. I'd like to go bigger, but as you can see, it is full of cracks. It's just the nature of the beast when it comes to this stuff. You know, I mean, you're talking about glass that's been buried in the ground for a million or so years all right guys there's one more spot i want to show you uh the third spot that i show you will actually be marked spot one on the map and the reason for that is is it's the easiest to get a car into like here i had to come up a big old steep hill it was a little rough if you don't have high clearance you can't make it probably the other spot you can make it into the first spot i stopped at which will actually be spot two uh, that's easy to get into this one's a little rough what's nice though is this is all BLM land Bureau of Land Management so if you're the adventurous type like my friends the adventure closet you can come up here and you can spend the night for free I think you're allowed 14 days I don't know don't quote me on it I haven't read the paperwork yours truly usually stays in motels Mrs. Hunting Rocks has uh, made me soft anyhow Let's go to spot one, which will be spot three in the video. And uh, yeah, you'll see where you can get with just a new old car. All right, that rock outcropping is what you want to look for. This is the third stop. And then I'll find a place to pull safely off the road. As such. What do you guys think? Lucky cat? Crazy dinosaur? Let's go get some good stuff. All right, guys, this rock outcropping is what you want to look for. Pull off the side of the road, plenty of room. You get your bucket, that's the only thing you're going to need, well, and your gloves. So let me get my bucket and my gloves. Let's head out there. Okay, you guys see how the ground is black? The ground is black because it is covered in obsidian. These are the little pieces. As we get down here, we'll come up to a uh, little wash and you'll find larger pieces of obsidian. What is this one? That one's pretty beat up. Almost looks like petrified wood though. Let's walk, let's walk on down to this wash. Here's a nice round piece of snowflake. It's a little dirty still, but those are the snowflakes right there. That's an alright piece. If you're going to do any napping, you want them to be a little bit bigger. You might be able to get an arrowhead out of that. This looks like a decent piece. Let's see if I can get it out of the ground though. 
All right, give me a second to get that out of the ground. There we go. Now it's out of the ground. It's a little dirty. It is a snowflake. Not a great snowflake, but that's not a bad piece for chipping up and doing some napping with. I'm only wearing one glove at the moment because I'm only picking up with one hand. The other hand is working the uh, camera. And of course, stopping whenever I see something that looks pretty good. This one's pretty. Look at that one. That's shiny. There's a shiny flat piece of snowflake. And like I said, I could I could film and pick this stuff up all day. It'd get kind of boring. So I'm going to pick some stuff up. If I find some really cool big pieces like this one. That's ah, not as big as I thought it was. Still a neat piece. I will turn the camera back on and show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see him right there, but that is a real, honest to God, horny toad. I lived in the desert for years and never saw a real one. And I just spooked that little guy up. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll leave you be. Now, this is a kind of neat looking piece. Rough on the outside, but look how shiny that is inside. I like that. That, that's just a big old rock. Piece of obsidian though. Well, you guys, I'm just gonna walk a couple more feet. And uh, then, and I head back to the truck. I'm going to try to shoot one more video today. I'm going to try to go back to Sunstone Knoll. Watch out for these little red ants too. They uh, they will put a hurt on you. And as always, you know, while you're out here, watch out for wildlife. This is open range. So watch out for cattle. And if you're near cattle, get away from them. Don't bother them. They're not pets. They're livestock dirty piece but that'll clean up all right anywho gonna make my way back to the truck i'll see you guys there there it is guys spot to collect uh obsidian here in utah um this is my second video i've done here i did one last year the first time i came uh brian major's done a couple videos brian major the crystal collector i think he collects further down the road i'm not 100 percent sure i need to ask him next time i see him which hopefully will be this year but uh anywho i'm gonna head out and uh, I'm going to go hit Sunstone Knoll. Let's see if there's any sunstones. Last time I did that, it rained. Looks like it may rain on me again. We'll see. All right, you guys. It's not all my pieces. But these are some of my nicer, larger pieces I picked up of the obsidian. Got a snowflake. Snowflake mahogany. Two real nice pieces of mahogany. And a little piece of mahogany that has some really pretty color in it. Um... I did spray them down because I haven't had time to polish them. You gotta cut some of them down, but you can see the cracks that are in them. This might be difficult to polish. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Well guys, that's the video for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it. Mm, didn't you, buddy? And we hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. Say bye to him. <laughs>